Hi, everybody. Thank you for your attention. Welcome at the press conference of Glory 90. We will be having six fighters on stage. It's the three last bouts of Glory 90. We are giving you the opportunity to ask them some questions. And in the end of this press conference, we also have a big announcement, uh, announcement to make. And that has everything to do with the Grand Prix in the heavyweights that will be in March 2024. Let me first introduce the fighters here on stage. Uh, we have a super match in the welterweight division between veteran I'm allowed to call you that, right? Myrtle Grunhardt and young star Theodore Ristov. Uh, Theodore, I want to ask you a question first. Um, you, you said that Myrtle Grunhardt was once your idol. How does it feel for you to fight against an idol? Yeah, that, that's amazing, you know. It's a dream for me come true. So I hope everything is going to be all right and we do this fight at our best, you know. Do you remember the moment that you saw him in real life for the first time? Yeah, well, I was excited. I, since a kid, since kid, I was watching his fights, and when I saw him, I was excited, and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Myrtle, how is that for you? You're going to fight somebody who used to idolize you. Yeah, it feels good uh, to hear that. You know, I mean, uh, I done a lot, a lot for the sports, and sometimes guys are coming from um, outside of the country. They're coming into our gym to train with us, so. Uh, yeah, I feel honored. Yeah. You um, had a little detour a year ago. You, you did some MMA. Um, maybe this is my modest opinion. But I think, the, the, do the new people who just been starting watching Glory, have they seen the old Myrtle yet? Because your last two fights, well, or at least that's my modest opinion, I didn't see the old Myrtle. Is that true or can you? No, they didn't, they didn't see the old Myrtle yet. It's about to come, and uh, better is about to come too. So uh, I'm feeling good. I was in a, in a training camp for four months, and the last month I did a training camp uh, um, and, uh, not, not at home, my mom's place. So uh, I'm very hungry for this fight, you know? Yeah. Good. Uh, the co-main event of Glory 90 will be a qualifier for the Grand Prix that will take place in March in 2024, and it will involve Nikola Filipovic and Nabil Kachap. Uh, Nikola, this is your first uh, time in the main card for Glory. It's also a qualifier for the Grand Prix. How much pressure does this fact bring? Yeah, I, I feel a big pressure, but uh, I try to enjoy this. And uh, I know I, I'm very proud because of uh, sit with this guy, and I enjoy this. That's it. Uh, Nabil, you were dreaming of uh, the Grand Prix. You told in an interview that this was your biggest dream. Is it difficult to focus on this match instead of, you know, thinking of the Grand Prix in the future? No, for me it's not difficult. Uh, this is like another match, and first that, and after that, the Grand Prix, inshallah. Yeah, we have a fantastic main event, uh, a world title fight in the welterweight division between uh, Anwar Ulet Shaib and the title holder Andy Semler. Anwar, um, are you tired of the fact that everybody's asking you the same question? This is a Rocky story. This is a Cinderella story. <laughs> are you tired of giving the same answer all the time? Yes, I have a great experience with you. I have now the chance for the title to fight. And I will take the chance with both hands. Nice. Andy, how is it for you to fight against somebody yeah, with so... Well, you've had experienced fighters uh, before. Uh, I think it's not dif difficult because uh, yeah, I fight everybody. I fight every style out before. There's, uh, He's one of those. You don't have the feeling that you have, you have everything to lose against this, uh, this guy? No. Uh, of course, you have a little bit of pressure, but it's normally, I always fight with pressure. I'm the champ. They want the belt. And I think everybody here fights with pressure. Everybody want to win. Everybody want to tame the, the people. Just everybody fights with pressure. And um, it's normally to fight with pressure. I can fight with pressure. Awesome. Okay, guys, then it's uh, 
It's your turn. Uh, questions from the media. You are allowed to ask your question in Dutch or uh, any other language that you're comfortable in. As long as the fighters can understand you, then everything is fine. Um, please stand up and state where your, what your name is and the media you're working for. Uh, my name is uh, Ala Adin. I'm from Champs Talk. And it's only fair to start with the champion, the main event. And the same layer, good to see you. Is a win satisfying enough for you against Anwar, or do you want to make a statement by not letting this fight go to a jury decision? Uh, I'm going to dominate. Uh, I'm going to try to knock him out. If he keeps standing, it'll be five rounds domination for me. Yes. I think it's not going to be five rounds. Thank you. Anwar, in het Nederlands? Zullen we het in het Nederlands doen? Um, Jullie hebben net een stare-down gehad. Als jij uh, hem in zijn ogen aanstaart, denk je dat Andy Semeleer jou onderschat of jou serieus neemt? Dat uh, zie ik wel in de ring eigenlijk. Uh, ik zie niks in zijn ogen. Dus ja. Uh, yeah. Dank je wel. Nebir Geshep. Laten we je naam gelijk goed uitspreken. As you know. Zullen we het in Engels doen? Engels, jij kan dat. As you know, I love your personality. You're a very authentic, down-to-earth person. Um, but in the ring, you turn into a tank. What do you have your fans to promise tomorrow? Thank you, first of all. Um, firework, pressure, and uh, beat his ass up. <laughs> That's clear. Filippo Wietz, welcome. Good to see you. Your record speaks for itself. Uh, you've won the last four times. Yeah. Uh, first, you were going to fight against Norti Mahidin. Uh, now you are uh, fighting Nabil Gesheb. What do you know about him? And have you have changed your game plan? Today, I, I look his fight, and when I see him with uh, Uku, I say, oh, this guy is crazy. He's got crazy cardio. You know, but I know his weak spots. That's uh, his tiny stomach, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm a joke. Yeah, I give everything I have, and I think this would be a good fight. Success tomorrow. Yeah. Groenhardt. Uh, yeah, a legend in the sport, eigenlijk. Hè? Surinaams graag. In the Surinaams, yeah, precies. Uh, nogmaals, in mijn ogen ben jij een legend in the sport. Heb jij het gevoel dat je mensen weer even moet herinneren wie Groenhart is, of heb jij voor jouw gevoel niks meer te bewijzen? Uh, voor mijn gevoel heb ik aan de mensen niks te bewijzen, maar aan mezelf. En aan mezelf moet ik weer, uh, mezelf bewijzen weer wie de groenheid is. Ik moet die predator weer eruit halen. Rita van uh, Vechters Baas. I have a question. <laughs> I have a question for Andy. Uh, I don't know if you watched the television yesterday, but uh, Anwar called you uh, yesterday on, uh, on TV a point fighter. How do you see that? He said that because he doesn't know me. He don't watch my fight before glory. Uh, a lot of people here only know my fight in glory. But before glory, I was a uh, pressure fighter. A lot of TKO's, KO's as well. This, uh, he gonna see that. And uh, yeah, he gonna see my uh, fight hard. Who he say that. Anwar, have you a reaction? Iedereen weet dat hij een puntvechter is en voor uh, glory, voor glory, dat was voor glory en nu zijn we in glory. Something. In House of Glory, you KO somebody? Mm, no, but there's three fights. That is why you have only three fights. Bro, you have, jij hebt veertig gevechten, bro. Waar, waar heb je het over? I fight real men. You fight upcoming fighters and no KO's. Veertig gevechten over KO? Give me the... The upcoming fighters. 40 gevechten over KO. Give me all the upcoming fighters in House of Glory. I knock out. Bro, 40 gevechten over KO. Go look my record. Go look my record. Ga je best doen morgen. Ga. This guy is coming with three fights and come talk about KO. Bro, je gaat iets meemaken, mag ik zeggen alvast. Emil from Stand Em Up. I got a question for uh, Myrtle. 
Myrtle, as uh, was said before, this is going to be your 100th fight. What does it mean to you to have so many fights in uh, professional kickboxing? Gruwelijk, eh? 100ste gevecht. <laughs> I love it. I love the 100th fight. It's been a lot. I've been here a while. Love it. And I'm not done yet, so. Thank you. Question for uh, Christoph. Uh, we've seen a picture going around social media of you uh, in Mike's gym together with Myrtle. So you guys have trained together. Um, you were 19 at the time, if I'm correct. Uh, what can you say about that uh, training you guys had? Oh, I was there for a camp and uh, training with the guys. And I saw him, we make photo, and I sent this picture to my father and told someday I will be this guy. So <laughs> now it's my chance to prove him. All right, thank you. Question for Andy. Of course, you just said like everyone has pressure on them, uh, but uh, Anwar has said that the pressure in this fight is all on you because you are fighting the younger and less experienced guy. Uh, what do you think about that? Uh, yes, what you what what yeah what vraag je? Ik snap je vraag niet meer. Hij zegt van. Kijk, uh, jij zegt natuurlijk de pressure is op iedereen tijdens het gevecht. Maar hij zegt, ja, op mij is er geen pressure. Maar alle pressure is in dit gevecht op jou. Wat vind je ervan? I don't care. Give me uh, all the pressure from everybody. I fight with the pressure and beat them with the pressure. Don't worry about that. All right, thank you. Wilson Boldewijn, Telegraaf. We gaan het niet in het Surinaam doen, Murray. Myrtle, um, je hebt ontzettend veel partijen gevochten. Je vocht many, many, uh, many bouts. Um, what do you hope to achieve? Wat, wat, wat wil je nog gaan bereiken de komende jaren? Je hebt tegen Andy gevochten. Je kwam je terug na een uitstapje naar het MMA. What's your goal? Uh, still, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm here to... Uh, I'm not here just to fight. I'm here to take something. Whip me home, and it's still, it's still the, the belt, still the goal. <laughs> so, a lot, I know lots of people don't uh, believe in me anymore, but that's okay. <coughs> I believe in me, and I got a whole team over there who believes in me, and that's all I need. <laughs> Anwar, Nederlands, veel, uh, yeah. veel, veel spanning. Gezonde maar spanning. Ja, nu, even, nu even, wat is jou? Waarom is Andy zo'n goede? Vechter. Nou, hij heeft uh, de titel al drie keer verdedigd volgens mij, of twee keer. En ja, uh, gewoon een technische vechter. Erik zeer ik dat wel. Dus ja, dat is het. Hoe kijk je naar het uh, vijf rondes vechten? Ook al, wordt, ook al gaat het misschien niet gebeuren. Dat wordt, het wordt een hele dikke partij, dat sowieso. Alleen maar vuur. Mark zei net uh, het cliché, de cliché vraag Rocky, hè? Dat was tegen... Mohamed Ali tegen Chuck Webner, als ik het me niet vergis, lang geleden. Um, hoe, hoe, hoe kijk je naar deze kans? Is het een, uh, is het een droom voor je? Dit wordt en, geen... en, en nu heb je nog een, iets meer dan 24 uur en dan moet het Dit gebeuren. wordt geen Mohamed Ali, maar dit wordt een uh, Anwar uh, verhaal. Dank je. Alsjeblieft. Hi, goeiedag, uh, Rim Bianski Warrior Talk. Uh, wat lachen jullie hier? <laughs> Why are you guys are laughing? Um, let me start off with Myrtle. Myrtle, how do you feel? I feel okay, thank ah, you. How are you? That's, that's what I need to hear. Uh, you said um, a couple of weeks ago that you said, um, I'm doing it step by step. Um, how many steps do you still need to have a chance to fight against a champion again? Uh, I don't know. Um one, two, I don't know, after this fight, we'll see. First, I'm uh, focused on this fight, and then, uh, and then the next. So, like I said, step by step. First this fight, and then we'll see. Mm. Uh, your opponent is almost uh, 15 years younger than you. Uh, you're more experienced, you have a lot more fights. Um, will that make the difference in this fight? Your experience and all that? Uh, my experience, definitely. Most definitely. It's gonna... And, um, you know, I'm going to take advantage of it. And uh, he's uh, some years younger, as you, as you just said. But, uh, you know, 
I still, I still in the top of my game. I still can do it, even I'm older. But doesn't matter. Mm. Um, I've, I've watched uh, um, a small, uh, how you call it, documentary of you, and you said that you, 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 you changed your, your training camp. You, you left home for like eight weeks. Eight weeks. You, you left your wife. Well, not left as. A, you didn't leave your wife, but you went into training camp. How do you feel now? Uh, I ain't gonna lie, man. I'm a little bit horny, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you know, <laughs> the dog is out. The dog is out. So. Are you feeling afraid, Nabil? You feeling afraid? Uh, not, not <laughs> <laughs> my opponent has to be. <laughs> uh, I hope he don't show me this in the ring because <laughs> <laughs> you know, a hungry dog can be dangerous, bro. <laughs> no, it's good to hear that. Good to hear that. Uh, just one question for uh, for Andy uh, same layer. Um, we we've, we've talked about the pressure and. Uh, we just had a, um, a conversation, an interview a couple of days ago. Uh, it's less than 24 hours for you to fight against Anwar. Uh, can you let me know how determined you are to show the people that you're not a point fighter? Uh, we have a great plan with the team. To, so uh, I fight a lot of pressure fighters. He's not the first one. There's, uh, we have a good plan for that. And... Uh, I give you my words, you can't press me the full fight. I'm going to turn the fight and I pressure him after that. Thank you. All right, guys, that's it. Great, great questions. Give them one round of applause, please. Um, before we end this press conference, uh, we have an announcement to make, uh, as you already no uh, glory um, spread out the news that they're going to do a lot of tournaments and Grand Prix next year. In the following two upcoming weeks, there will be more info about that. But um, there is one announcement to make about the Grand Prix that will be happening in March, and that is that we have given the first wild card away to a fighter. And that fighter is here. There he is, Antonio Plazibad. Nice to see you here, Antonio. Yeah, nice to see you also. First question, of course, is how is your injury? Because I saw a lot of videos with you still having the Band-Aid or the thing on. Well, I just took it off. The arm is good. I can start training normally soon, start sparring, start doing everything and live the boring life of uh, like housewife at home. Because I was just sitting at home, watching TV, playing video games, and one thing I learned from all this is that is not for me. That is too boring to live by. What was your first reaction when you uh, got the invitation for the Grand Prix? Well, the first thing, uh, I was very lucky that uh, Glory did not make the event in December like it should do. That was a big thumbs up for me. And uh, after that, yeah, I was hoping I get the chance because I, I, think I, I think I still have a good rank in the glory and still can show some things. And of course, the tournament is the most violent, best, epic thing in combat, for, in combat sport for me. Like, uh, doesn't matter, UFC, five fights, boxing, 12 rounds. The hardest thing you can do in a fighting is fight three fights in one night in kickboxing tournament. It's do or die. Everybody goes for knockouts, and I cannot wait for it. Nice. Yeah. Sounds like that suits you like a glove. And I hope Rico comes in. Yeah. Maybe you, maybe you want to do, do a little shout out since you're, you're, you, you were calling for him for one and a half year. Maybe you do one extra shout out to him. Hey, Rico, I'm beaten, I'm on the ground, I'm fucked, uh, I'm shit, 
you show everybody that we don't know nothing and you are the best, you will beat us all, so please come to the tournament. And I offer as the first fight. Yeah. Nice, okay, well, great Antonio. We'll see you in March when the Grand Prix in the heavyweights will take place. Thank you all for your attention and we'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to do it again. It's time for glory. Thanks guys.